Have you ever thought, I wish there was an easy, fast way for me to gauge student understanding so that I could better use class time to grow a learning community? Well, if so, Socrative is the tool for you. Socrative is a web-based tool that allows teachers to assess students and collect data in real time, visually. All you have to do is design the assessment, and all the students need is an electronic device. Let's check it out. So, you're ready to gauge student understanding using Socrative. This video will show you how to set up your very first quiz. First, direct yourself to the Socrative homepage by typing in www.socrative.com into your browser's address bar. From the homepage, choose Teacher Login. Since Socrative is connected with Google and Park Hill usernames are also connected with Google, all you'll have to do is choose the red Sign in with Google button. You will then be prompted to fill in your Park Hill email address and password to sign in with your Google account. The first time you log into Socrative, you'll need to create an account. This will also include assigning a room name. I recommend a last name or room number. You will only have to do this once. From there, you should be directed to the dashboard. The dashboard is the main page for you to start your quiz, quick question, space race, or exit ticket. Before we can choose any of these, we'll need to first create our quiz. We can do this by choosing Manage Quizzes from the tabs in the upper left-hand corner. From Manage Quizzes, you can create a quiz, import a quiz from other Socrative users, browse your already created quizzes, or get reports from quizzes that students have taken. First, let's just create a quiz. The first thing you'll need to do is give your quiz a name. You then have the option to align your quiz to a standard. To do so, simply check the box. It will populate some choices in order for you to align with your desired standard. Choose your subject, your core, your grade level, and then your desired standard. You can always come back and change or delete this if you change your mind. Now we get to add questions. We can add multiple choice, true, false, or short answer questions. First, let's add a multiple choice item by clicking the yellow button. To add my question, I simply type it in the provided text box. I also have the option of adding a picture by clicking this button or changing the formatting of my text by clicking the formatting button. Let's say I wanted to italicize the word simile. Then I want to input my answer choices. A, B, C, and D or even E. You can choose also to add additional answers if you want. Then I want to check which of my answers is correct so that Socrative automatically grades it for me.
From there, if I decide I don't really like this question, I can delete it by clicking this button. I can change the order of questions by using these arrows, or I can duplicate my question by clicking this button. Next, I'll add a true-false. I'll choose the correct answer. I also have the option of including an explanation of why this would be the right answer. I want to be sure to save my progress as I go. If I change my mind later, I can always use the edit button. And then finally, a short answer question. I have the option to include correct answers or include an explanation. When I'm finished with my quiz, I will move up to the top of the screen and choose Save and Exit. This will direct me back to the dashboard. Now that you've created your first quiz, you can administer that quiz or give it as a space race. Let's choose Space Race. From the Space Race page, You'll first select which quiz you'd like to give as a space race. Then you'll choose your number of teams. You can choose to assign student teams or do the number of students that are in your class. You can also choose to have Socrative auto assign your teams or let students pick. You can choose to have a rocket, bear, bicycle, be unicorn, or spaceship space race. My kids like the unicorn. You can choose to enable or disable student feedback and results. When you're ready to start your space race, press start. This is the screen you're going to want to display for students so they can see their progress as they answer the quiz questions. This creates a general a feeling of excitement and a little bit of competition as students compete against others in order to answer the questions quickly and correctly. When students have completed the race, click Finish in the upper right-hand corner. This will open a dialog box for you to get the results of your space race. You can choose Get Reports Immediately, you can view the chart of their answers or go back to your dashboard. I like to choose Get Reports. You can get a whole class, individual student, or question-specific reports, or all three. You can then choose to have those reports emailed to you, downloaded, or saved to your Google Drive. I like to choose Google Drive. This will automatically create a folder in your Google Drive called Socrative Reports, and all your reports will be stored there for your ease of use and access. Then you'll be directed back to your dashboard, ready for another quiz, quick question, exit ticket, or space race. Well, there you have it. Try Socrative today and experience the convenience of assessment and data collection it provides.